The Autel Evo Max 4T, is it a drone industry disruptor? We're gonna talk all about its features. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We are talking about a new drone released from Autel Robotics. It's called the Autel Evo Max 4T. Now they announced this drone at this year's CES and as the time uh, of this video being recorded, uh, it's about two months out before we're actually gonna see these drones being manufactured. So right now it's January of 2023. So we're looking uh, at March, April before you start seeing these drones come in. So I have not touched one of these drones. I have not seen one in person. I was not at CES. So I'm just talking about the specs of this drone. I think it's really interesting that Autel has released this drone. So we're gonna go through a bunch of features one by one and then tell you why we think this drone might be a disruptor in the drone industry so let's get started all right let's talk about the form factor this is going to be really familiar to you drone flyers out there it folds up very similarly to the dji drone so like the mavic 3 and the m30t uh, it's somewhere in between those two drones in size though so that's i think kind of interesting because it's filling a little bit of a gap there. So uh, form factor is great. You got that foldable, that, that very uh, recognizable foldable drone, uh, but it's somewhere in between the size of the M30T and the Mavic 3T. Next up, let's talk about something that is a big selling point for Autel drones, and that is that they do not geofence their drones. So with DJI, uh, you can get FAA approval and you can go out to fly your mission but if DJI has deemed that area to not be flyable, they can actually stop you from flying. Your drone won't take off. Then you have to jump through some hoops to get it unlocked. Uh, it can take up a lot of time. And if you don't take care of it ahead of time, you might not get it unlocked at all. So that is not something that Autel does. If you got FAA approval and you've got a reason to be there, a legitimate reason to be there, you can fly. So say you get hired to go fly a football stadium. Well, DJI might not let you fly there unless you jump through those hoops to get it unlocked. Whereas Autel, you're gonna have no problems as long as, again, as long as you have FAA approval. Uh, don't go flying near a stadium because I mentioned it in the video. So no geofencing is a huge deal. It's gonna allow you to get your drone up in the air and do your job. Next up, let's talk about the attachments. On top of the drone, there is a little port. Uh, and a couple of screws where you can put attachments. So say an RTK module, if you're someone that needs RTK, this drone is capable of that. You just need to add that RTK module and be able to log into an RTK network. There are gonna be other attachments coming out, I'm sure. I'm sure there will be spotlights. I'm sure there will be speakers. I'm sure there will be combos with spotlights and speakers. Uh, so the attachment port is really important in drones like this, especially for drones that are really built for public safety. So you need to have that versatility. If you need to go out and fly at night, you're gonna need a spotlight. So these attachment ports on top of this drone are great. Okay, next up, a really important one. Let's talk about flight time. So Autel listed at about 42 minutes of flight time. Now in real world conditions with wind, uh, you know, depending on the temperature, that could affect the battery life as well. Uh, you're looking at an average, I bet, of around 35 minutes of actual flight time, but still a very good flight time for this drone, especially because it's only got one battery. There's only one battery in this drone, whereas like with the M30T, uh, you've actually got two batteries that are operating the drone and you're getting a very similar flight time. Speaking of batteries, let's talk about the fact that they are hot swappable. So even though this drone works with only one battery, you're able to hot swap them. So I'm assuming there must be a, a small battery built into the drone so that you can take the main battery out, swap a new battery in, and the drone never itself turns off. So I'm sure that there must be a, a small battery inside of the drone itself. Uh, that keeps it powered on as you replace the batteries. But that's a big plus to have that hot swappable battery. Uh, you're gonna be able to get this thing up in the air uh, in like 30 seconds. All right, let's talk about the sensors on this drone. As you can see, uh, it looks to be four separate cameras on the drone, uh, and it's not necessarily four cameras, it's three cameras and one laser range finder. That's right, this drone has a laser range finder. Uh, so we'll talk about that first. Basically, you're gonna be able to point the drone to a specific point within a certain distance, and it's gonna be able to tell you like the GPS location of whatever you're pointing at. It's gonna be able to tell you like the height of a building that you're pointing at. Uh, so a really, really useful tool in, in a lot of ways because if you need exact locations of a certain point, instead of having to fly the drone over there or instead of having to drive 
out somewhere with a GPS system, you can literally get the drone up and point at something and get its GPS location. So that laser rangefinder could be a really useful tool for people in the right circumstances. The next sensor we wanna talk about is that thermal sensor. It is a 640 by 512 high resolution thermal sensor. Because I haven't actually had the Autel Evo Max 4T, in my hands, I can only tell you what my experience has been with other drones that have the same resolution thermal, and it's that they are incredible. You can get accurate heat signatures from 400 feet. You're gonna be able to read those heat signatures in the dark. Uh, it's gonna make things really, really helpful, especially in like search and rescue operations, finding someone that is missing somewhere. Uh, this drone can be very helpful. Also with inspections, say you're doing roof inspections and thermal would be very useful for you. Think about how useful a drone with thermal would be for you. This drone also has an incredible zoom lens on it, 10 times optical zoom, 150 times digital zoom. It also shoots 8K video, so you're getting a really high resolution video out of this zoom camera. Now, as you zoom further and further in, once you get past the 10 times optical zoom, it's gonna start degrading on you. So when you're up at 150, it's definitely gonna look blocky. It's definitely gonna have some fuzz to it. Uh, it's not gonna look super crisp, but still very useful. 150 times zoom, you have no reason for having to get close to anything with that drone uh, because you've got that huge zoom range on it. This drone also has a 50 megapixel wide angle camera. You're gonna be able to use that for things like mapping. So this is a sensor system that packs a lot of punch. You're getting a whole lot out of this thermal camera, out of this zoom camera, out of this wide angle camera, and out of the laser range finder. So very cool, very useful for many different professions. Next up, you also get a big, beautiful smart controller with this drone. You're gonna have no problem seeing what you need to see outdoors because uh, the screen is huge. I've actually used a remote very similar to this with one of their other uh, older drones and, and the smart controller is awesome. It feels great in your hands. I would recommend using the lanyard. Make sure you don't drop it because you don't want to crack that screen. The drone is also IP43 rated, so you're not gonna have a problem if you're out flying in light rain, flying in light snow. I'm not telling you to go out and fly in a torrential rainstorm or in a tornado, please don't do that. Uh, but you're not gonna have any trouble if you're out on a mission somewhere and it starts to rain, just bring the drone back, but it's not gonna ruin anything uh, in the drone. So IP43 rating, uh, really important for this drone, the Autel Evo Max 4T. Let's talk about deployment. This drone can be quickly deployed in under one minute, so you're not gonna have any problems showing up to the scene, getting the drone out, and waiting four minutes for everything to boot up and sync up. Uh, you can literally get this thing out of the box and get it up in the air in under a minute. Uh, that's what they say anyway. I haven't tested this, like I said, uh, but that is a great feature for this drone, especially for police and fire departments who are often trying to get the drone up in the air really, really quickly. They have what's called no blind spot obstacle avoidance. It apparently goes 720 degrees around the drone. So there is not one spot, they say, around this drone that doesn't have obstacle avoidance protecting the drone. You usually hear them say 360 degrees, but we're going 720. We're going all the way, turning it up to 11 uh, with that 720 degrees. But your drone should be very well protected uh, with those sensors. Just don't trust them too much. Any of the sensors on any of these drones, uh, they all do a great job, but use your common sense and just don't fly close to anything where you're gonna have any issues. This drone has a 12 mile transmission range. So from the drone to the remote, they're saying 12 miles. You're never gonna get that. Uh, obstacles in the way, buildings in the way, trees in the way. Uh, even without those obstacles in the way, you likely would not be able to get 12 miles. But you're gonna be able to fly a long way from the remote, uh, way beyond what you're able to see. And legally, you have to keep the drone within your line of sight anyway. So you're gonna have no issues with that. A really, really great transmission range from the remote to the drone. Now, an additional accessory you can get is called the Live Deck. Now, what does the Live Deck do? The Live Deck is kind of like a, a second remote. It literally gets the, the transmission from the drone 
back to this little box. This little box, it looks like a cable box of some sort or like a, like a modem. But you take this little box and you connect it via HDMI to like a big screen TV or via USB to a laptop and you're able to see the live feed from that drone. So like I said, it's like having a second remote. You just don't have all the remote control features. You can't actually move the drone. You can't take the drone over or anything like that. You're literally just getting uh, the feed from the drone. So this is really useful. Say you wanna, you want somebody at headquarters to be able to see what's going on out in the field. This could be a really good option. But we have to get to the biggest category of them all, and that is the price. This drone with multiple batteries is coming in at $9,000, actually $89.99 you're gonna be able to get this drone for. That's without the RTK module included, that's without the live deck, um, that is just the drone, smart controller, hard case, multi-charger, uh, three batteries, I believe, uh, is what it comes with. Like I said, I don't know a ton about those details yet. Uh, I'm hoping to get one in our hands very, very soon. Uh, but you're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff for that $9,000. Now, where does that fit in? It actually fits in the same way the size of the drone fits in. It is right in between the DJI M30T and the DJI Mavic 3T. Uh, so you're looking at $9,000. The Mavic 3T is around $6,200 once you add a few things. Uh, the M30T is around $15,000, $16,000 once you add batteries and that kind of stuff. So this one's coming out right in the middle at about $9,000. This could be a great option if you were somebody that was looking at the M30T but thought it might be a little too expensive. Uh, you maybe wanted more features than the Mavic 3T is going to offer you. So this new Autel drone, the Evo Max 4T, it might be a drone that's going to disrupt the industry a little bit because people might go this route instead of going bigger with the M30T or even the M300 uh, and going smaller with the Mavic 3T. So we just went through a whole bunch of categories. We just went through a whole bunch of information. I'm sure I missed something. So please say it in the comments below. Tell me what I missed. I'll see if I can get an answer for you. Uh, are you excited about this drone? Are, are you somebody that was thinking about the M30T maybe, uh, or maybe thinking about the Mavic 3T and want something right in the middle? This drone might be the one for you. Like I said, I hope to get my hands on this drone really, really soon so we can do some comparison videos and really show you guys what this drone is all about. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, if you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you wanna buy one of these drones, whether it's Altel or DJI, make sure you reach out to us. Here's our phone number, here's our email address. We're also on social media everywhere. I mean, we even have a TikTok now. Uh, so yeah, reach out to us and we'd be happy to send you a quote or give you more information. Thank you again for stopping by. We'll see you next time.